Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Dor and welcome you again to our radio channel, YouTube channel Medical Online. And uh, this video is all about the breast pain. Uh, many female uh, do have this pain in the age of 30 to 50 years of age. And in one study, it's almost about 70% of women can have this pain, which is also called as mastalgia. All right, we'll be talking about all these things and its etiology and when to worry and either it's worrisome or not. Okay, before going to start the video, I'm uh, requesting you to kindly do subscribe our channel and also press the bell icon for the notification of upcoming videos. All right, so we'll be talking about breast pain. There are two main types of breast pain. It could be either cyclical and non-cyclical. And cyclical just mean that uh, it's usually uh, occur in specific days of uh, the month. It's usually and the premenopausal woman and also can have some benign lumps in the patient breast. Mostly it's bilateral and usually the female will be having pain of in bilateral in both the breast. All right. So now coming towards the uh, etiology, if someone is asking you that why it uh, occur, why she is having pain, so there is no clinical any clear etiology, right? No clear cause. Yes, but uh, many people says that this could be due to hormonal changes because uh, you know it's only in the specific days of uh, the periods of the menstruation. So that's why it could be due to the hormonal changes and hormonal uh, uh, ups and downs, right? And in one thing which have been noted that dietary deficiency in essential fatty acid has been suggested to as a one of the cause, but it's only one of the cause, right? Okay, now coming toward the clinical features in cyclical uh, breast pain, patient parents will be having pain in bilateral in both the breast, and it occurs only at three to seven days before menstruation, right? Before start of of bleeding, she will be having pain from three to seven days. And uh, she can have, uh, she may feel that they, she's having some lumps, some uh, swelling in the breast, and also she will be feeling some heaviness of the breast. But uh, the most important thing over here is that her symptoms will definitely improve after menstruation. Uh, most of the time, it's some um, their symptom improves after menstruation, and uh, if not, then I will be telling you treatment of the uh, treatment of the breast pain. Uh, in the uh, coming in, in the same video, just watch it till the end. Now coming toward the non-cyclical, non-cyclical breast pain. It could be either within the breast, there may be a cause of uh, within the breast, or I, whether it could be due to non-breast causes. First of all, we will be talking about the within the breast. In the same, uh, it could be both the bilateral and uh, it could be unilateral as well, uh, but. Uh, if it is we're talking about within the breast it could be due to infections it could be due to any trauma she's having to the breast uh, she is having uh, she has started hormone replacement therapy recently and that could be one of the cause of the non-cyclical uh, breast pain and uh, which it could be also due to tumor uh, which is quite uncommon let me tell you one thing important thing what professor is telling us that anything which is painful in the breast could be benign uh, we must think of benign things because most of the tumors are uh, which is malignant I'm talking about the cancers thing if uh, it could be cancer it's quite non painful and that's why uh, uh, anything which you feel that is painful we rarely is cancer right okay and another cause it could be repetitive no cause noted and no repetitive means that there is no specific cause of this and patient is having pain and another thing is sclerosing adenosis, adenosis uh, which is not that much important for you people to all learn but you can also learn the word on the sclerosing, sclerosing adenosis. Now coming toward the non-breast cause, patient will be feeling pain in the breast but it could be due to non-breast, it will be not the cause of the, uh, the cause will be somewhere else. Like it could be musculoskeletal pain in the thoracic region and the uh, chest region and it could be due to cervical spondylosis right it could be due to thoracic spondylosis and it could be due to any lung disease she will be having pain in the breast but it could be due to the lung disease uh, many female have gallstones 
due to which she is having pain in the right upper quadrant and they feel that it's, they are having pain in the breast and even hormone replacement therapy here it could be due to hormone replacement therapy as well right and esophagitis so these are the causes of the non-cyclical pain and the main difference is that non-cyclical pain it could be due to single single episode or two times but it will not be recurrent like the same way they, uh, like in the cyclical which recurs in three to seven days before menstruation usually and cyclical this will be the range this is quite quite uh, simple pan and one can really manage it with simply things right coming towards the treatment right and treatment again i divided it both cyclic and non-cyclical mastalgia and cyclical the most important thing which is important for all the female that females should be reassured there is not any malignant thing it's just a benign thing it's pain and uh, it can be treated very easily so reassurance is the most important thing in this case right again uh, supportive bra at night is really important and it helps a lot and uh, if this doesn't work and then one can go towards NSAIDs like topical NSAIDs available uh, in which ibuprofen can be used topically on the breast which help important thing one should decrease the caffeine intake especially tea and coffee uh, it can also boost up the pain another one is prem pros rile and uh, this can be used uh, for cyclical uh, breast pain but if all these things fail and your pain is still there and uh, we call it a severe case then we go towards bromocriptine and also low dose denazole and tamoxifen and gonadrolin these are the drugs which can be used for the treatment of cyclical nostalgia but before using these drugs always do visit your doctor over there to for proper checkup and also uh, he will be giving you specific drugs right according to your disease and according to your other health condition now coming towards the non-cyclical nostalgia again over here is supportive bra important in both one should use supportive bra and says hair topical and oral can be used and uh, here i have written that avoid surgical intervention and not cyclically avoid in surgical intervention but before anything going toward the treatment important thing is to investigate this because it's not cyclical cyclical nostalgia and it's only for first time or second time she's having pain if she is more than 35 years you must go towards mammography or if you have uh, examined her breast and there you have noted any focal tenderness area then go for ultrasound and uh, if you are you think that it could be like abscess or things like that you should go towards cbc and things like that okay so <clears throat> this was the treatment of the breast pan and uh, all the things which i have told you previously in the same video and uh, if you people think that Anything I have left and anything was missing from this video, kindly comment and I will do another video for this about uh, Mistelia. This was a bit short or big and um, usually female having many complaints like this. That's why uh, she's having this type of pain, right? Okay. So, I was thinking of the benign things and uh, especially the cyclic Mistelia, it is quite common and up to 70% of people is having this pain. So, I uh, don't ever think of that much and uh, that it could be due to cancer yes it could be one of the cause uh, the pain of one of the causes also of the pain is due to the cancer which is rarely right okay thank you so much for watching our video and i uh, hope so that you people have learned something and if you think that this video was beneficial for you people kindly like and share with your friends and also importantly do subscribe our channel for the next upcoming videos thank you so much bye